Okay, yeah, so finally here at the CES convention. I'm about to get my registration, after which we're gonna go in and check out some really cool products. So stay tuned. So we are here at CES for 2023 and we are in the Hisense booth looking at their range of budget 4K smart TVs. Now this particular model that we're looking at here is the 55 inch U6K version. Um, now the Hisense U6K series of televisions uh, come in three sizes, uh, namely the 55 inch which we're looking at here, uh, as well as there is a 65 inch and there's also a 75 inch model. Now the CPU that powers this cool TV is the ARM Cortex A63. Um, speed is 1500 megahertz and the ARM Cortex is a four core processor uh, uh, chip. Now again, I'm going to stress, this is a budget 4K TV, but it's interesting that Hisense has packed a lot of really cool technology into this TV. Uh, starting with the uh, the backlighting, right? So it's a mini LED backlit, right? And there is a full array of local dimming as well. Uh, now this also does come with content dot color technology. And when we're talking about, you know, picture enhancement technology that you normally see in the higher range 4K TVs, and I'm talking about Dolby Vision, yes, Dolby Vision is also included in the U6K model as well. Um, there's also um, HDR10 and HDR10+, Plus and HLG, um, and obviously that's high dynamic range, just in case you were wondering what that algorithm that, um, that acronym stands for. Um, so, you know, we're talking about really good contrast, deep blacks, uh, very white whites, very good contrast. Speaking of contrast, the static contrast ratio on this is 1200 to one, uh, which isn't bad for the price. Now I did say before that this is a 4K TV. So obviously the resolution is 3,840 times 2,160 pixels. So we're talking about 2160p, uh, 4K Ultra HD resolution. Now, when it comes to local dimming zones, there are 200 local dimming zones on this TV. And speaking of brightness, uh, and when we're looking at the, the value of nits, and that's a, a unit of measure for brightness, this comes with 600 nits. Um, it's not the brightest, but you know, it's still good enough for you know an entry level 4K TV in this range. Um, one other thing, and we're going to talk about more about it when we get to gaming, but the default standard refresh rate is 60 hertz. Now that's low, uh, but that's idea just for you know normal TV viewing and, and streaming and whatnot. But there is a feature on this which we will talk about when we talk about gaming, where this TV automatically adjusts its refresh rate to a higher value when you are uh, playing video games, and it can auto auto detect when you have a game console hooked up to this thing. So. That's all pretty cool. So when it comes to the aesthetics, normally when you have the word budget in there, you think of a cheap looking TV. But funny enough, Hisense's TVs do have a very good look to them. Um, they can go into any modern room and you know act, just accentuate uh, all the other modern pieces of furniture that's in the room. So as you can see on this particular model, we have a standard black look, like a piano black type of color. Um, of course, all around, you have the ultra thin bezels. Obviously the bezel at the bottom is a little thicker because you want to show the, the, the TV logo in there. And it just, you know, it's, it's standard for most TVs to have the bottom bezel a little bit thicker, but all in all, you don't really see the bezels because they're generally just slim. Um, and it's, you know, this, 
TVs generally the general look that you see for TVs now in this in this uh, this time it's they all pretty much pretty much look the same. Um, they have in this particular model right now we have it as a tabletop in the tabletop configuration, so it's not well mounted. So you do have like a left and white uh, left and right feet there, uh, very small minimalist. They just you know do the job right. Um, so you have that, and it's also a slim TV. Like um, you know when we talk about the dimensions, it's not a thick TV. Um, and again, that's really good, and it comes in even handier when you have this in the wall mounted configuration. But all in all, you know what? For the price, it's a nice TV. It does not look cheap at all. Now, the U6K from Hisense comes with quite a couple of ports on the back here. Uh, so let's start uh, with the USB ports. There are two of those. Uh, they are version 2.0. Uh, there's also one RJ45 port, which we normally call the LAN port, connected to your local area network in your home. Um, now from an HDMI port perspective, this does come with four ports and that's great. You can hook up like, you know, your PlayStation, Xbox, uh, media player, and you still have an additional port for something else, which is cool. Uh, moving on, we have one cable or antenna in port, and that's for connecting to your set-top box or to your, your antenna, your digital antenna. Uh, and then co for connecting to a third-party surround sound system, you have one digital optical audio out port. And finally, we do also have a 3.5mm audio output port for connecting to a set of wired headphones, or it could be a wired connection to a, an external uh, surround sound system. So that's it for the ports, not bad. So now the Hisense U6K TV, again this is the 55 inch version, but this will be the same across all the other sizes uh, at this model. Um, it comes with Google TV and that's a smart TV platform. Um, and what that is, it's a full featured capable system that covers all of the major streaming services including Amazon Prime Video, Apple TV, Crunchyroll, Disney Plus, Hulu, uh, there's Max, of course there's Netflix, Twitch, and you know, what's a suite of streaming services without YouTube, right? So all of those come with that smart TV platform on this TV, and that my friends is not bad for an entry level TV. That's pretty good. So this is a two channel uh, speaker system that comes with the TV. I believe it's two times 24 watts. Uh, and as far as the sound enhancement technology is concerned, uh, this also does come with Dolby Atmos and that's ATMOS Atmos. Now the Hisense U6K uh, does come with something called Game Mode Plus. And what that it is, it auto detects when you have a game console hooked up to one of the HDMI ports, right? So when it auto detects like say a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox or whatever, it, and it's a game console, what it does, remember we said that the standard refresh rate is 60 hertz. Well, what this does, it bumps up the refresh rate from 60 hertz to 120 hertz so that you can enjoy fast paced gaming, right? Because the last thing you want is to see tearing or blurring or uh, you know shadowing uh, or jitter, right? When you have fast paced like game sprites happening on the TV, moving around on the television, right? Uh, so that's fixed with this technology. And speaking of technology that supports gaming, uh, there's also VRR or variable refresh rate technology built in. And that pretty much was what I talked about earlier with the auto, you know, the changing or the upscaling or not upscaling but the you know increasing of the, the refresh rate from 60 to 120 hertz and there's also something called ALLM technology that's built into the U6K and that stands for auto low latency mode again it's just a technology which you know, makes the TV optimized for fast-paced gaming and that's pretty cool thank you Hisense
Now without the stand, uh, when we talk about width by height by depth, we're talking about, without the stand, a uh, width of 57.1 inches times a height of 35.3 inches times a depth of a mere 3.1 inches. Uh, this TV weighs a mere 43.4 pounds. Now the U6K does have a VESA wall mount option available, so yes you can wall mount this. But if you just want to have it on a tabletop, as you can see in this configuration, the, uh, it does support that as well, uh, with no left and right legs. And as you can see, they're not in the way, they're small, they're simple. And uh, yeah, it makes the installation look very clean. Now Hisense has been improving its TVs over the years and it's one of the dominant players in the budget 4K TV space and that's just a personal opinion. Now as you can see in the video uh, demo that we've shown here, you know the picture quality is really good. It's really good indeed. And and the fact that there is a game mode as well where you know the TV can increase its refresh rate to 120 Hz to, to accommodate video games. Uh, with the assistance of VRR and ALM technologies, it really makes us a great buy for the budget. And I mean the fact that you also have um, uh, Google TV as a smart TV platform that gives you access to all of the major streaming services. I mean, hey, for the price you're getting a really good bang for the buck. Um, so I think this is a really good buy overall. So before we end uh, here, I was lucky enough to meet one of the Hisense representatives here at CES at the booth and she was nice enough to just give me a quick overview of the U6K from her perspective. So let's hear her now. When we get to the U6K, <laughs> this one's going to have over 200 local dimming zones. So that's going to help with um, the peak brightness as well as the darkest darks. It has the 500 600, 600 peak now brightness for the nits it does include the quantum dot it has um, game mode plus so it's still going to automatically detect your consoles and your sports games how it fast is that is 240 hertz or 120 so this one's going to be 120 120 120 120, 120, 120 okay, okay. <laughs> and then um the 200 local um, dimming zones has doubled from this model. Double from that one, okay, yes. got so it, got it. Everything we're going to talk about has doubled on the new models. Double on new models, got it. So um, it's going to have Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos for that extra enhancement on the picture and the sound as well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that last video. If you liked it, go ahead and like it. Thank you very much ahead in advance. And if you haven't done so already, you should subscribe to this channel. Two reasons for doing that. One, you will get access to our weekly content that's coming out when it comes to do with TVs, TV accessories, home entertainment systems, pretty much anything to do with televisions will be coming out. And the second reason is you will automatically be eligible for our future prize giveaways. Now, speaking of prize giveaways, in addition to subscribing to this channel, <clears throat> you would also need to subscribe to our newsletter. Now, to get access to doing that, just click on the link below to our website at www redtechbot.com and just subscribe to our newsletter there and once you've done that you're automatically in uh you're at automatically eligible uh for prize giveaways so newsletter subscription and subscribe to the channel that's it anyway guys other than that if there are any tv models tv accessories home entertainment systems anything to do with tvs that you would like me to review just leave them in the comments below and i will add that to my backlog and see what i can do for you I can't promise you or guarantee I would get those uh, product reviews done, but I would definitely see what I can do uh, in the near future. No promises, but at least let me know and I'll see what I can do. Other than that, guys, happy TV viewing and just stay, stay safe out there. Okay, so till next time, bye-bye.